John Campbell should probably start thinking about a different career path because his cricketing future might be in jeopardy. So says Joseph Reds Pereira. This I wanna name sports to the phone. Top blogger, top YouTube channel. No matter which sports here, we got it covered. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Yes, my beautiful sports to the bone family. Welcome back, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. Hope you are having a beautiful day so far. Yes, my peeps. So we're going to be taking a look at a couple of things in this one. We see where veteran cricket commentator Joseph Reds Pereira is saying that um, John Campbell, his career is definitely in jeopardy because of his age and the fact that if he serves four years, it's probably going to end his career at the highest level. So we're going to talk about all of what he had to say and so forth so, you know we're also going to be taking a look at an article that was published by sports Kida, and they are talking about three reasons why west indies team will struggle in this upcoming t20 world cup so we're going to um give you guys those three reasons and you will let me know if you agree with all of that or you think they need to leave our team alone. Remember, my peeps, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, all right? So let's get down into it now, my peeps. So Joseph Reds Pereira, as we know, is a veteran um, cricket commentator. And he believes that um, John Campbell's career is in jeopardy. As we know, you know, John Campbell, who is 29, would have heard the news just now that, you know, they decided to ban him for four years. He's planning to appeal it and all of that, but Red Spirit is saying that in the event that this appeal doesn't come through, he should start thinking about another career path. Now, this is the first thing that he had to say, and I quote, it depends on if he even stands a chance based on legal advice. If he appeals and then loses, then we accept that um, his cricket career may be at the end. He's not a young batsman, but but life doesn't end there for him. He can pursue other areas of interest. But before that, we have to look at the appeal process, said Pereira. So he's saying that why well, John Campbell might end up having to look at a different career path now based on where his age is at his 29 and the fact that, you know, if, as I said, if four years, if they take four years off of, off of that, no, my peeps, at that probably going 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 automatically in this career in this career you know so let me go on and and, and give us some more information what joseph um is Pereira he's saying um he's saying that and i quote the local fraternity the fraternity in the caribbean his fans need to support him because it's vital at this stage he must not be seen as a um as 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 a a, a paria a judgment has been made but there's an appeal process and people should not rush to their judgment, right? He said, um, you know, people need to make sure that they are supporting him and they should never rush to judgment because they can appeal it and it can be overthrown. He's also saying that, that this gives room for potential openers like Shandapai Hemraj or Jeremy Solozano. He went on to say, you might not necessarily want to go for a traditional opening batsman. So maybe Brandon King could switch from white ball to red cricket for, to the red ball format. You could throw in Evan Lewis. So it's an area where the West Indies selectors will have to look carefully. So they have already started to come up with plans on how to replace um to replace John Campbell in the event that this appeal doesn't go in his favor. Now, this is um, the last thing that Riz Pereira said, and I quote, his age is there, his keenness is there, but it's not just him being out of the test game. This ban will take him out of the Jamaica setup. So, you know, no, no, he won't be able to play any cricket at any uh, competitive level like that. Won't be able to represent his country can't represent West Indies cricket, my peeps. So, boy, tough on John Campbell. Yeah, man, it's tough on John Campbell. May I tell my viewers and subscribers. So, 
as Red Pereira is saying, you know, the process will have to, they will have to go through the process. So, you know, his legal team will decide, say, all right, they're going to do the appeal and then depending on the appeal, then he will know whether or not he needs to start looking in, the different, in a different direction as it relates to um, his future. So, you know, you don't know my peeps, we wish him the best and we are hoping that everything will work out for him. But we also understand um, the, 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 the rules that, that, that they have governing the, the, the game, you understand? So, go and keep a close eye on things to see how that work out, my peeps. So, the final thing that I want to share with you guys before we go, we see where they are saying, um, where I am on Sports Kida and they are talking about three reasons why West Indies could struggle in the tournament and that is in the World Cup. So they have decided to come up with three reasons why this West Indies team might struggle. And we're going to take a look at these reasons reasons and see if we if we really and truly believe and 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 thing. So number one they say high economy rate of fast bowlers. High economy rate of fast bowlers. And they say the West Indies pace um, outfit has as um, as variety. Shell and Catchell and Obed McCoy are the left arm pacers there, but they have people like Kyle Mears, Alzari Joseph, you know Jason Holder that are there and are in pretty good shape. So they are saying that even though we have these sort of variety, you know the um, economy rates are extremely high. They say Shell and Catchell in 2022 has an economy rate of 8.32. Obed McCoy too has struggled and his economy rate is also up there, 9.44. You understand? And, um, you know, same thing for Jason Hola, his economy rate is up there, 8.39. Odin Smith own is not too much better. It is um, up there also, my peeps. So they are saying that is one of the main reasons why we are likely to struggle because of the economy rate of the pace bowlers. Number two, they are saying strike rate um, of the top order batsmen in 2022. So the strike rate of the top order batsmen not looking good at all, my peeps. It's not like when we had Chris Gale and, and, and Lewis together and firing at all tilt, all full cylinder. The um, strike rate, based on what they are saying, of some of the players not really up there. So that's one of the things. So we're going to go into it, my viewers and subscribers, and see exactly what they are saying about the strike rate of the batsmen because they don't know any, especially if you're batting in the power play, you know, you want to make sure that your strike rate is at a very good level where you are um, leading the team. They say the West Indies top order um, batsmen, the West Indies top order batsmen have their strike rate, um, have their strike rate that, that you know, in, in, a, in a bad shape. They say Brandon King, his strike rate is 116.91. Right, Shamar Brooks' strike rate, as we know, isn't too high either, my peeps. You know, um, his strike rate, right, is is also also down there. So, uh, Brandon King is one hundred and sixteen point nine one. Shamar Brooks' it, Brooks um, strike rate is a hundred. Johnson Charles, his strike rate is a little bit um higher. Um, you know, Johnson Charles' strike rate is a little bit higher based on what they are saying. Kyle Mayer's own is not too bad in the 130s, 130.22. So that is um, something that they are talking about. And the third thing that they are talking about is West Indies dismal record in Australia. So they're saying that, um, you know, we don't usually do too well in Australia, especially on those uh, l uh, larger fields where we are not known to rotate, strike and anything like that. But I don't know, my peeps, it could be a case where these batsmen are going to surprise us, these bowlers probably going to surprise us in the World Cup. We're going to keep a close eye on things. As you, do, as you know already, we're going to be watching the World Cup. We're going to be monitoring things to see how things work out. And then we can revisit all of these big talks that people putting out before the World Cup. So go and big up on yourself, my peeps, and we'll touch base later on. Zane.